everyone. Hi, it's Eve here, editor of Professional Beauty. And uh, as we gear up for Christmas and New Year, I just wanted to remind you about the best way to make your business stand out in 2022, which is, of course, entering the Professional Beauty Awards. So there's quite a new format for next year. So what I wanted to do is just come on and tell you a little bit about that. Um, entries for the Professional Beauty Awards 2022 opened in early December. And next year, the event's going to be a bit different. So as most of you know, for many years, we've held the Professional Beauty Awards alongside the World's Brand Wellness Awards um, on the Sunday night of Professional Beauty London show. But for 2022, we are making Professional Beauty Awards a completely standalone event in the summer. So I'm really excited about that because it will give us a lot more of a chance to, well, not only to, to party a bit harder because we don't have to get up for a show the next day, but also to expand the awards to introduce some new categories. Um, so I want to tell you a little bit about those because there are five new categories for next year. And we've chosen them really to reflect the changes in the industry and the growth of the beauty and spa industry. So the first new category is educator of the year. Um, because I mean, there's so many more educators out there now and some fantastic educators, and we've not really had a specific award to recognize them up until now. So this award is for an inspirational and innovative educator um, who teaches technical and creative skills and helps to raise standards in the beauty industry. So it's open to in-house educators, freelancers and training providers and the education can be delivered in person or online or a mix of both. So um, yeah, that's an exciting new one. The second one is uh, mobile or home-based beauty business of the year. And again, this category really reflects changes in the market. There are so many more freelancers out there now, so many more people going self-employed and some of them are fantastic and operating amazing beauty businesses. So. This category is really open to businesses that provide beauty, spa or aesthetic treatments, um, either on a mobile therapy basis or from their homes. So yeah, that's another new one. And also new is Skin Clinic of the Year. Um, and to be clear on this one, this doesn't have to be a doctor-led clinic. It's really to recognise the growing number of salons that are specialising in advanced treatments at the moment. So um, this is non-medical skin treatments. So the salon might also provide classic beauty treatments like um, nails and, and waxing and everything, but the primary focus of the business would be advanced skin treatments. So this might include technology led treatments like radio frequency, IPL, that sort of thing, microneedling, uh, peels, mesotherapy, and um, these sorts of treatments would be kind of the primary focus. Um, and another new category is innovation of the year. So this one's pretty broad um, it's for a practicing beauty services provider rather than supplier, but somebody who's done something just exciting and amazing over the last year. So the innovation can be anything from launching your own product brand to maybe you've expanded into multiple sites uh, from, a, from a single site operation, um, or you've perhaps branched out into a completely new area that's transformed your business. It's just about celebrating innovation and growth, really, in the professional beauty sector. So that should be an exciting one. Interested to see what we get uh, in the entries there. And last but not least, in the, the new category lineup, we've got the Marketing and Social Media Award. Again, this is about recognising the growing importance, really, of that part of the market. So social and digital skills and how important they are to, to running a uh, salon or spa business and, and growing the sector. So we're looking at, uh, well, we're looking for a salon or spa or beauty business that really creates innovative campaigns um, and really sort of gets results from their marketing campaigns and has a, a strong focus on digital. So those are the five new categories. Uh, we've also got nine other categories that you'll be a bit more familiar with. Um, and as a recap, those are boutique salon of the year, large salon, boutique spa, large spa, nail salon, therapist, employer, leader, and team of the year. So entries for all of those categories are open now. Um, you can find out more and enter via our dedicated awards website, which is professionalbeautyawardsuk.co.uk. So yeah, hopefully that's given you a bit more information. If you've got any questions, lots of information's on that site. We've also got contact details there for any more specific questions that aren't covered, and you can just get in touch with us and hopefully enter the awards and celebrate your business next year. 
thank you all very much and see you soon.